Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today is April 1st. It is opening day of trout season here in Pennsylvania. It is 8 o'clock on the button right now. We are allowed to jump in the creeks as of this minute. Uh, we got a lot of rain coming today, <laughs> thunderstorms. It's going to be going to be a little dicey. I'm going to go hide under a bridge for a little while. Uh, let this rain clear out. They're saying 11, 12. It should be gone. Uh, probably move around to a few spots. Um, yeah, but I'm ready. Let's, I'm going to get all geared up and go jump in the creek and uh, bring you with me. So thanks for coming. Let's go on a journey today. Thanks, everybody. See you on the water. Starting to rain already. It stopped long enough to let me put my stuff on, my gear on. And here we go. Like I said, I'm gonna go hide under a bridge. Try to stay dry for a couple hours. See if we can't find a couple stalkers. All in all, I'm fishing. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> There's another bridge upstream. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys up there standing on a bridge. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just in a different spot. Almost 60 degrees already, it's going up to 70 degrees today. So, hopefully this rain won't be too bad. I was told they dump them in up there at that bridge. So the odds of them, well, I don't know, even getting down here with the water this low. We shall see. Ah, quick gear check quick here this morning, guys. I got out the old G. Loomis trout rod, and I've been dying to use my new Stella and put a handle on it and, and a knob. So, what better way to test out a $600, $700 reel and get it out in the rain and get it wet? And today, we are going for BFS. We're doing this is the Ace Hawk CU Double. It has two tips. This is the light. It has an ultralight tip. Uh, this is rated from two to six grams. I'm gonna be throwing all my spinner baits and moving baits on it. I got the Tissonura Genius on here, spooled up with six pound Daiwa J Braid Grand. I changed the knobs, left the handle. This reel is 135 grams, really light. I mean, the rod's not the prettiest. I don't like this brown foam handle, but we're gonna give it a try today. All right, I'm gonna step out in the rain and uh, throw the spinnerbait around first, I think, and see what we can come up against. It's really low. So, oh, also, you can't see it. I'll do a, a, another video quick. I got, a buddy of mine made me a Kydex rod holder. Fits right on your belt. So I can hold one rod, and they're handmade. They are uh, really cool looking. I'll do a little review on that. Hey everybody, I uh, have a good buddy of mine that makes Kydex holsters for guns, and he has made me a fishing holster for the rod. I will leave a big full description in the description. <laughs> Uh, but I can't tell you, it's lightweight, I forget about it. Uh, I can't tell you how handy it is to have this just on me. And anytime I need to change baits, I mean, it holds it really well. It engages itself just by leaning forward like that. Awesome, awesome. Just a quick shout out. Thank you, John and Graham. You guys gotta get yourselves one. They're awesome. <laughs> I was listening to Michael Jackson down. Old 80s Michael Jackson on the way here. Now I got PYT stuck in my head. <laughs> this braid is tied to a fluorocarbon leader. I haven't... I think I casted this rod once. I'm not sure. My brakes are up there pretty high. Here's the cast. I'm throwing a Fishhawk spinner in gold to start. The gear ratio is 8 to 1 on this reel. 
so I'm gonna have to slow it down a little bit. <clears throat> we stocked this a week ago. Uh, a week ago, it was Friday, a week and a day ago. And then they had the Youth Mentor Day right after they stocked it. I can't imagine they got fished out too hard on Youth Mentor Day, but here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I had really good luck with this lure last year in this particular creek, not this particular section. Not the stick. Woohoohoohoohoo! That was close. What do we call that? Grass. Grass? No, it's not grass. <laughs> it's like moss off the rock. Well, grassy ass to you too. What happened here, fellas? You go. We're good. You go. I like the action of the rod. It's not too soft. I haven't seen anybody pull anything out up there, you know, yet. I'm not really paying attention, either. <laughs> oh, little fishy fishy. I know you're in here, well done. It's over by a rock. Oof. Dodge that bullet. Yeah, it's real, it really does cast nice. I mean, this. Nothing on the old spinner rate yet. <laughs> yeah, we whipped it out there good. If we get one of those gosh darn little trout fishes and bite on there, we'll be good. Come on, little trout fishy. How did I do that? You see that? It just hit the water and got snagged instantaneously. Nothing like blowing up my spot with the first cast there. Ding dong. That's where I slip on a rock. Bust my head. Switch paths here. I'm gonna get under the bridge here on this guide because it's gonna get caught. All of my clothing and I'm trying to stick it in my fish holster. So obviously what I'm trying to do is work the work the current, hoping my bait it'll send my bait down to the bottom where they are. I'm trying to work. There's a lot of rocks in here and I know they hide those little pockets behind all those rocks. So trying to find all those little pockets and get close to the rocks. So at least the trout can see it and hop out of their little hidey spot and come nab it. I'm gonna go with watermelon pearl. That's what we're gonna go with first off. Trout magnet head. Gunk on your head, little dude. Now it's coming across this way. Tell you what, this reel is. Oh god, it's amazing. Though. I've really never felt anything so smooth. Back again. Here we are hiking on a trail. To get us down to the creek in a pretty isolated spot. Honestly, I think half the reason why I like coming to this spot is this hike in the woods. It's just gorgeous. I love it. All the little buds are coming out on the trees. It's April 1st today. This is the second half of opening day for me. It rained a lot this morning. It's gonna be 71 degrees today. I think the rain is done for a couple hours at least. And uh, let's see if I can't bust my butt. Getting down to the lower trail. <laughs> Felt bottom boots. Fat bottom girls. Uh, felt, sorry, felt bottom boots don't have the best traction in mud. Now oh, we made it safe and sound. I just wanted to take you on this little adventure part of my hike because it's one of my favorites.
again using my handy dandy little fishing rod holder. Alright. Nico makes these stone slime. Okay, there's the sun. I'm officially happy. I'm gonna go down where I normally go. And I'm gonna try to get real quiet. I have caught a smallmouth out of here last year on a spinnerbait. But these sunglasses are absolutely amazing. Polarized glasses make all the difference in the world. There's so much potential right here. I can't believe how low it is though. Well, we got one. He bit at it twice. We got him the third time. Took a while to get away to him. Beautiful rainbow. I'm gonna let him go. Also, you guys be watched for this. Watch me before. I never uh, the bait popped out. I never like to touch them. They have a coating of mucus on them that protects them. If I wipe that off with my hands, they will get disease right away and it'll kill them. That is why I choose not to touch them and try to get them back safe and happy. Atta boy. All right. Me so bad. He's angry. Hmm? Come here. Relax, okay? You're going the wrong way, dude. <laughs> there you go. That's actually number one, two, three. Okay. Just finally waking up. I'm using the right color again. I don't know, just gotta get him to come out. 